So imperfect fungi or deuteromycetes, sometimes you call it fungi imperfecti, it's not really a resolved group of organisms. Um, it's believed that it's very closely related to ascomycetes. So when you look at your disease list, you'll see some of these will be listed under ascomycetes. So one of the diseases you'll find in this group are uh, juniper twig blight. It happens on the current year's growth. It may occur on Thuya and Cupressus. Initially, you get small yellow spots that appear on the scales and then dead, dead twigs remain on the plant. Here's what that looks like. So close up, you're gonna see that you've got gray to black fungal fruiting bodies developing, and it is spread by rain and splashing water. Here's a very close up on the left, you can see here's a juniper that's got the disease, and then if you look closely, you'll see the fruiting bodies on the right. So with all of these diseases, avoiding overhead watering is key. You want to avoid wounding the plants. Do not over fertilize them and then prune and destroy infected twigs, which if you've worked with juniper, you know that's no easy task. You should decide whether you really want to have this juniper. Is this really worth all that work? And here's a group of resistant varieties. Uh, the picture on the bottom right here is Juniperus chinensis fitzeriana aurea. Um, but there's a several varieties that are resistant. So if you're really keen on having a juniper, you might consider one of these. Verticillium wilt is a soil-borne fungus. It can remain in the soil for many years. And wet soils just keep it uh, thriving. It grows within the xylem after it enters the roots, and you'll see one section of the plant will wilt and die back. So you can see if you do a cross section here, here you're gonna see the fungus has gotten into the main stem of the plant, so it's preventing water from moving to the top of the tree. So you'll see on the right here, it's the middle of the summer, this is a plant that is uh, probably half dead from verticillium wilt. So there's a lot of susceptible plants, and I did list some on Canvas, a, a list of susceptible and resistant. So if you've got it in the area, you definitely want to make sure if you replace your plant, you're using resistant species. And uh, it's also, I don't have it here, but it also occurs on basil. So you could try to remove and destroy disease branches. If you do that, you want to sterilize tools. It may keep the plant looking okay for a little while, but it's not really going to get rid of it. You want to remove and destroy severely diseased or dead trees, including the roots. And then you want to use disease resistant species and varieties and make sure you're watering the tree properly so it's not more susceptible to these problems.